It seems like Axie Infinity's co-founder Psychout has finally responded regarding the SLP FUD news and exactly what's been going on with Axie Infinity, at least to some extent. I believe that this is a great start in the right direction. I feel like this speaks volumes in terms of what we're really trying to get to at the end of the day, you know, a clear-cut vision as to what Axie Infinity will be in the future. I mean, right now, we just have a bunch of dates that don't really get met up, and that's the big issue that we're having with Axie Infinity. I I don't know if you, if you guys feel the same way. I mean, from my last video, it seems like a lot of people have agreed that the transparency between the developers and the community honestly just isn't there. I understand that you're trying to build a game that speaks volumes over other games and just goes above and beyond. But I mean, just remember that the community is what makes everything. And with that being said, let's get right into that tweet. So he says, I want to clarify some things regarding SLP and growth. First of all, we care about SLP. It's tied to breeding axes and correlated to axes price. We also know a lot of players rely on SLP to make food on the table. Okay, it's incredible. I feel like this is, you know, at least they're acknowledging the fact that SLP is used, you know, to fund people and families in the Philippines. Now, second, he says, we recognize that the AXS cost relative to the SLP cost per breed is currently imbalanced and we'll make more adjustments in the future. Now, in my last video, I was talking a lot about how, hey, the devs don't really have a clear cut plan on exactly what they're doing. And it's great to see that at least here, you know, we get a message that they understand that the AXS cost relative to SLP is too high and that the SLP cost, you know, for burning at least should be higher at some point in the future. Now, obviously, more clarification on this is needed but i mean this is a step in the right direction and we should not bash on them for at least making some sort of progress on this right this is something that we try to communicate frequently but people seem to forget it and think that this is the final version of axie um i feel like personally um a lot of people are thinking right now that a lot of the etas have been being pushed and i understand you know axie infinity isn't its own entity i mean it has a publisher and it has a lot of things and hoops and bounds that it has to go through but i feel like an investment into a pr team something that you know can show more information will go you know a long way to gaining that trust back that the axie infinity community honestly has been losing a lot of i mean if you go to reddit there's an enormous amount of fud i mean redditors they're just banning anybody that does FUD and the censorship does not look good in terms of you know Axie Infinity being community driven because I mean even games like League of Legends I mean we have patch notes we have art updates we have a lot of things that other games do not have I mean why can't Axie Infinity do that you tell me why a game that doesn't that makes more money than League of Legends currently has pretty much no PR team I understand that the community quote unquote the content creators are making a lot of it and the content creator fund i think it's a great idea and i mean i would love to have you on so we could speak regarding this i mean it just you need some clarification to the community and this right here is step one but step two is you know going on a call and talking to people and clearing out exactly what you're thinking about in terms of axie infinity because i know you guys have big plans and i know you guys have big visions for the long-term sustainability of axie infinity i just don't think there's enough information out there to really convince people that things are going on right now I mean, if we just look at the Lunasian, in the development update, yes, you have progress, right? You're saying that progress has happened. But on my last video, I showed the February update. It said the same exact thing. There was nothing new. I mean, yes, you know, if I had to say that something was new, then I would put something like if I had to go down here. I, I wouldn't even. I'll, I'll do it off my head. The Ronin Dex and AXS staking is being audited at the moment. The Ronin Dex design is done. But, I mean, in the February update, they were talking about the Ronin Dex design. They were talking about AXS staking accelerating. And there is just so much uncertainty, honestly, with the amount of information that's being put out right now. It just, it does not make any sense for you to just talk about the SLP prices. When I, I feel like, honestly, that isn't the issue right now. SLP prices, yes, it is a large issue and you know at least you're addressing it here but the big issue is the lack of information that a lot of us retail investors have at the moment 
For example, some YouTuber called Jaxie Wick, a content creator, told me, hey, there's a high council where if you own a Mystic Axie, then all of a sudden, you know, you'll know a lot more about the information in this game and how bullish I am in this game. Well, I should not have to spend uh, upwards of $100,000 if I want to go ahead and grab a Mystic Axie and get a little bit more information about my investment. I should not have to do that and nobody should have to do that. I feel like that personally is an insult. An insult to everybody that supports this game, everybody that wants this game to be community driven, because it should not be about the amount of capital you have in this game. Because if you're trying to make something esports related, related free to play, you know, to help poor people, to help emerging economies, then everybody should have access to this information. You should not be censoring information and only giving it to people that have invested money to, into buying mystic axes or other things it, it's just it's irresponsible and i feel like this is what needs to be addressed in this video now can the game in its current state handle another massive growth spike that generally follows a high sl pre price can ronin our answer to that is not quite yet now this is reasonable I mean, if they can't handle more growth right now, we had server crashes in July for like three weeks straight. So I can understand what's going on with this. Now, what I cannot understand is everything else that I've spoken on. This is pretty reasonable. I mean, if they can't handle it right now, I would understand. They're not used to it. This is cutting edge blockchain technology, so it makes sense. Now, overall, it's just... He's just kind of saying that SLP will not pump forever, and SLP is not meant only to pump. I can agree with that, and I can agree with the fact that the people saying that, hey, the, the company should be buying up SLP, it's just not how it should work. I mean, this is a player-driven economy, and if there are you know, too many breeders or too many people buying axes and then playing the game and then minting a ton of SLP... And now we have too much SLP. I mean, that's just, you know, it's community driven and that's what we're going for in Axie Infinity. Now, I understand that not everybody's going to like the fact that ROI is running away from us. But I just think that the first step, more than anything, is just having developers who are a tiny bit more honest with us. Now, roadmap wise, they were talking about it. They've got about two weeks to release AXS staking, and if they're not going to release that, that's just another two weeks extra that they're not covering things, right? Now, I just think, to finalize this, I just don't think that something that's supposed to be decentralized should have worse quality of information than League of Legends. I, I've had talks, and people have said, hey, I mean, now the games are bigger, the level of information that they have to give, they don't really have to care as much regarding it because, you know, they have big investors and they have big players like Delphi Digital. It just, it doesn't work that way, right? I mean, your level of information should improve over time. The quality should improve, and you should be able to tell us exactly what's going on. Now, I understand you have competitors and you have to protect your assets, but, I mean, you have to give people some sense of trust that, you know, you'll deliver. I understand that you've said you've delivered, and you have done a lot in these past 12 months. And I, I give you props for that. But I just think that just a little bit of tease, a little bit of just trailers, something to let people know exactly what they should be expecting with the land gameplay. Because I guarantee that now it looks different than the land demo that was last year in Project K. Something like that would go a long way. I mean, I don't think that a toxic game like League of Legends should really be better than us. <laughs> and I think that we have to think of ourselves as a cornerstone in a market, but a big player in that market. And we should be the figurehead that we want to be. If you guys say, hey, Axie Infinity is the NFT game of the year and the nft game that has propelled nft play to earn gaming into fruition well we have to do it the right way and i feel like doing it the right way will make others do it the right way we have to do it right overall i just think the critiquing needs to be taken the right way and beating around the bush does not help this is about the community this is about scholars this is about filipinos this is about everybody on the planet and everybody deserves to be heard i feel like I agree, you know, with the fact that it shouldn't only be about short ROI, but understanding people's concerns and addressing them goes a long way. The point of everything is to ensure trust in the Axie Infinity community, not to spread FUD. That's not the point of this video. Solving problems is and not creating more problems. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's be sure to share this around. Let's go to Reddit. Let's go everywhere and make sure that, you know, we can try to get some answers from maybe Saika, Ojihos. And thank you very much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you guys on the next one.